All right, so we're checking out the new RCN Power 0802 motors. So they made a uh, series of motors here in 3 kVs and two different color styles. So we have um, the gold and orange style and the uh, teal, blue, and pink style. And we've got 22,000 kV, 25,000 kV, and 27,000 kV. And I believe that um, they're each KV is available in either color. So uh, I've got all three of them. So the 27,000 KV are here on these on this uh, uh, Meteor 65 pusher that I built a while back. These originally came with these Beta FPV 19,000 KV, uh, 19,500 KV 0802 motors. So the, these are the 27,000s on here. I believe these, this gold and and they call this gold and orange is uh, 22,000 kV and then this um, teal blue and pink this one is 25,000 kV and just a kind of a quick look at these motors they're very obviously super tiny construction is uh, very good uh, you know, consistent with uh, RCN power motors in general Obviously the same uh, screw hole pattern. You do have the uh, solder points here, the little PCB for the motor wire. This motor wire is thinner than the ones that were on the Beta FPV motors. Uh, but they are also longer. Uh, but overall they weigh a little bit less. All right, so the, uh, the, one, the ones that were on here before, these are the Beta FPV 19,500 kV motors. They are all four of them weigh 8.2 grams. And these are the um, 22,000 kV motors from RCN Power, 7.8-ish grams. These are the 25,000 kV, about 7.7 .7 grams. These uh, 27,000 kV weigh a little bit less, like uh, about, uh, maybe around 7.7 .7 grams. So not much weight difference. Obviously the key different kV is due to the amount of windings there are in the motor itself. So there's a slight difference in weight, maybe like 10th, maybe about 0.15 grams, something like that. Not a whole lot. So there's actually not a whole lot to say about this. So obviously I did fly them all. Uh, the 22,000 kV motors, in terms of performance, they feel pretty similar to the Beta FPV 22,000 kV motors. Uh, I think the, the big selling point about this motor is it has dual ball bearings and I'm not 100% sure how I can show that. They're obviously in the bearings here in the center. Not sure how much of a difference that makes. To me, the motors feel pretty much the same in the air. It might help with the durability long term. Uh, obviously the construction is high quality in my opinion. Um, it's a, it's a well-built motor. They didn't get hot or anything like that. Uh, but in terms of the KV, the uh, way they feel, it's familiar. I've you know, obviously I've flown 22,000 KV motors before, and uh, we'll talk about the efficiency here in a second. But in terms of the feel, about the same. We've uh, flown these 25,000 KV motors before on the Mobula 6. Uh, these have been, that, that's like more than two years ago. Um, also, it feels pretty much the same in terms of power. And then you have these 27,000 kV motors that are in here. And uh, these basically are like an upgraded version of the 25,000 kV motors, a little bit more power. So, uh, you know, as you go up from kV to kV, so 19,500 kV to 22,000, so as you progress up to 27,000 kV, what you get is um, an increase in power and a decrease in efficiency. So, uh, if you're looking for that acro performance, you know, obviously you want to get up into the higher KVs to get that extra boost. In terms of racing type flying, I think the 27, like when you get up to the 25, 27,000 KV, you uh, gain more responsiveness and control in a lot of tight turns. So, maybe a track that has a lot of uh, turning and quick, you know, ch changes of direction, these higher KV motors might be better for you. But again, if it's a long track, you're, I'll talk about the battery life here in a second, you're 
probably not going to want to go with these motors because you obviously lose a lot of flight time. But if you go back to my videos on the Mobula 6 with the 25,000 kV motors, these uh, 25,000 kV motors from RCN Power perform pretty much the same. And if you're looking for acro performance, I would go with 25 or the 27,000 kV. And if you're looking for more racing type performance, go for the lower KV, the 19,500. You know, obviously uh, for beat FPV or the 22,000 kV, you're going to get a little bit more straight line speed on the on 22,000 kV. Um, obviously, you're going to lose a little bit of flight time. So let me just talk about the flight time, assuming you have a good battery. And um, typically around 19,500 kV or so around there on these, um, you know, tri-blade, 31 millimeter gem fan props, you're roughly going to get three to four minutes of flight time as you increase your KV to like 22,000 KV. That basically cuts you down about another half a minute to a minute, and you get cut down again when you go to 25,000 KV. So you're looking at uh, two to three minutes on 25,000 KV, and then when you get to 27,000 KV, you're looking at uh, a minute and a half to two minutes of and we're now talking some pretty aggressive uh, freestyle type flying now the problem is when you get up to these higher kvs is your battery is going to be a major issue so i did fly with these beta fev um with bt 2.0 connectors and we all know that these batteries aren't that good so i converted a couple of these uh, gnbs which come with the ph 2.0 connector and so if you put these higher kv 25,000 27,000 kv motors on like say a mobula 6 with the ph 2.0 connector don't even bother with these batteries you get like 30 seconds of flight uh, on the 27,000 because the connector just is not very good and the you know but when you get up to the higher kvs the the current draw even in a hover is way more and you get a lot more voltage sag so just as an example, on on, the, on these GNBs, which I converted to the BT 2.0 connector, uh, the initial battery sag at the beginning of the flight on the original beta FPV batteries or the beta FPV motors at 19,500 kV, you know, which sags down to like, you know, 3.7, 3.8 volts. Uh, but then when you get to 27,000 kV on the same battery, uh, right away you're down to like, uh, as soon as you take off, you're already down to like 3.4, 3.3 volts um, initially. Uh, even when you charge these all the way up to 4.35 volts. So you get a, a lot more battery sag. And um, that's a problem, especially on poor quality batteries like this one here. So when I fly aggressively with the GMBs on the 27,000 kV motors, of course you get that acro performance it's got plenty of power you can do power loops and all kinds of tricks and stuff it's got it's got insane amounts of power and very responsive um but the flight time is really short so i can like get like a minute and a half to maybe two minutes on these batteries if i'm lucky uh, if i'm really going crazy i can obviously can get less than a minute um but the and and you need really high quality batteries to use these 27,000 kV motors when you get to these, uh, when you use poor quality batteries, what happens is when you do full throttle on this 27,000 kV motor, I tried a power loop, uh, the battery sagged so much, it went to like 2.7 volts that, and this was like right, right at the beginning of the flight too, like at, when the battery was fully charged, um, I lost video. So the, um, the BEC, I think the five volt regulator on the flight controller basically crapped out and I lost um, the camera and the, I, yeah, I lost the camera is what I lost. I, I still had video for, for, well, in terms of like the video transmitter was transmitting, but I had no video from the camera. The camera did not like that voltage sag because the uh, when this when the battery stacked to 2.7 volts, I think the voltage regulator on the flight controller was not able to provide enough power to the camera and the camera would not recover from that. So I had to actually unplug the battery and then re basically reboot the whole system for it to come back. Yeah, and so if you have, if you use really poor quality batteries, you, it basically becomes unusable at 27,500 kV. You can't really do anything because once you go full throttle, the battery sags out so much that the whole system crashes. And um, I'm, I even I'm, I even worry on these you know higher quality GMB batteries because it's still you get still plenty of voltage sag, um, and when you when you have that much voltage sag, you don't 
really utilize the maximum capabilities of this motor. So not sure what the right answer is. If you want to use these 27,000 uh, KV motors, you're going to have to probably find even better batteries than these. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what are some better batteries than these GNBs that I can convert with these BT 2.0 connectors? Uh, maybe I'll try them out for a future video. I would suggest that instead of going with the 27,000 KV, which is kind of, a, in my opinion, kind of a gimmick, because there really aren't any good, good enough batteries to support that KV. Uh, I would go to the 25,000 KV. That gives you about uh, two and a half minutes, roughly, on average, of flight time on this uh, 300 uh, milliamp hour GNB, and you get a very good acro performance. You can do all the same tricks, and you get a little bit more flight time. So that would be my suggestion. If you're gonna, you know, mainly going to be doing racing, then go for the lower KV uh, motors. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Got any questions? Leave them down in the comments below. Talk to you guys in the next one.